just one more last chance for oh, say we're through. to shrink. <laughs> Kept going down. <laughs> Second air like spinal cord. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? The next part of the concert. Are you walking off the stage? Yeah, That's crazy. quite strange. The crowd. <laughs> my tea. You're starting to act like that woman that got in all the trouble. Tea as it should be. No, I don't really know why she got in trouble. She just looked like an older woman with panties on. Walking around the stage. What? <laughs> You don't know what I'm talking about, eh? No. Uh, New Year's shows. Hmm. You really don't know nothing. You know no. nothing. I'd like to keep it that and way. And what you do know. Here's the second most important thing about the project. Okay? You got to get this in right away. That you keep balance. You get a project that's in sync with who you really are. Right? That's what Evan told me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because that's Popeye. Mm -hmm. I am what I am. Mm -hmm. Right? If you start freaking yourself out and stressing yourself out, it's not going to be any good. Yeah. No. Mother Nature will do something to you. Strike you down. Mm -hmm. Somehow. <laughs> Ooh now we got Joe Nichols. Can I do it here, too? Let's see what it sounds like. Hold on. Open window of the process, Ma. Mm -hmm. It's a really big old-time radio show, Ma. It always starts in what? Five minutes. And uh, we don't spin the tunes on a uh, uh, record player there, whatever you call it. Turntable. Computer. MP3. Whatever. We spin it on our souls. This. <laughs> what? We already said this part. No, we didn't. Yeah, I said it. Hey, have we gotten the Molly in the middle yet? No, almost. Two more. We must be. Two more times. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, Ma. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to sing about the cuck old man. Yeah. All right. I hope we can get through this, Ma. I know you're nervous right now. And what key is it supposed to be in, Ma? G? Yeah, maybe. Is that what you decided on? <laughs> Hard to say. I'll tell you really quick, okay? Just keep the window up and the press. Um, she said I'm going out. She said I'm going out with my girlfriend. Margarita. Hit the hog den. It's way up here. Yeah. No, it's in C. C? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll play it in like that. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, people are going to say that. You should sing it that day. That, that's better than that other one. Yeah. Because I don't like to copy the Joe. People are going to say it loud. It's the old Joe Nichols. Yeah. Joe Nichols and dimes him. Yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to think of what do you call it when you only have five cent coins. Oh, I don't Joe know. Nichols. <laughs> or something. No, I can think of a better no, one. No, whatever. <laughs> you know, we got the feeling of it. The emotion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works. In a way. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. All, we're almost ready to go. Yep. She said I'm going out with my girlfriend. Margarita. At the holiday inn. I said, have mercy, my only thought was tequila, makes your clothes fall off. I told her, put an extra layer on, I know what happened when she drinks Patron. Her closet's missing half the clothes she bought, oh yeah, tequila, makes your clothes Ball, oh. You're gonna stop by kicking out of her shoes Losing the earring in her drink Leave a jacket in the bathroom stall Drop her contact down the sink She don't mean nothing, she's just 
haven't found Tomorrow she's gonna say what have I done Her friends will joke about the stuff she lost Oh yeah, tequila makes her clothes fall off Yeah, tequila makes her clothes fall off She can turn <laughs> out her shoes. <laughs> this is the earring. It hurt great. Leave her jacket in the bathroom stall. Drop her contact down the sink. She can't handle any champagne brunch. Bridal shower with the Cardi Punch Yellow shooters full of smart Oh, with tequila Makes your clothes fall off I said tequila Makes your clothes fall off Okay I'm gonna start by kicking out of her shoes Losing the ring in her drink Leave a jacket in the bathroom stall. Stop her contact. Down the lake. <laughs> she always, she don't mean nothing. She's just having fun. Tomorrow she's gonna say, "What have I done?" Her friends will joke about the stuff she lost. I said tequila makes her clothes. Oh, oh. That's why I'm a cuckold. <laughs> because tequila makes your clothes all oh, off. Oh. Whoa, tequila makes your clothes fall off. Woo. How humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's really good? I was like, man, you know it's tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the hat down low, I got. Yeah. That's humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's got to be with the times, Ma. Killer makes her clothes <laughs> fall off. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> laughing at you. <laughs> oh. Have I got anything more to say, Ma? You know, about the depth. <laughs> depth. I'll talk about depth when I get back, Ma. Uh, sure. Do you want to you wanna leave? Oh, is that with the... No, don't we sing the pictures? Yeah. All right. We gotta put everybody to sleep before I leave. Are you gonna wake them up or keep them further into sleep? I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. When you're choosing the project and you're figuring out I am who I am and putting it through, it's a project. Mm -hmm. the, the deeper you go on that, the more you get into that. Just like a boat mm -hmm. needs some depth underwater. Mm -hmm. To carry a big load through a storm. Yeah. The more shallow that is, well, then the more you got to rely on the, your ordinary brain. Yeah. If your ordinary brain is in sync, it'll still go. But I'm just saying, the more work you do on that, mm -hmm. the better it's going to be. That's the same with everything in life, right? Yeah. You got to work on it, right? Yeah. Yep, she can handle any champagne brunch. A I bridal shower. Yeah. Hey, Ma, you said Smirnoff wrong. Do you know how to say Smirnoff? Smirnoff? Yeah. You said Smirnoff. Oh. <laughs> Some people do say Smirnoff. Yeah. I don't think Russians say Smirnoff. No. Oh. What if I'm wrong and Russians do say Smirnoff? They say Smirnoff. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Smirnoff. You might get an angry letter then. <laughs> and I say Smirnoff and I get like Shmer. whack. <laughs> I get like whack. Man, it's a big Russian dude. <laughs> But Putin, he's Putin shorter than I am, Ma. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. A little short Putin. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> they say Putin's the most powerful guy in the world, right? Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. Is it you? I think knowledge is power, Ma. Yeah? Yeah, it could be. It could be me. <laughs> could be the Reverend, Ma. Could be. Oh, I'm published, Ma. <laughs> I'm a star of stage and screen now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'm more powerful, Ma. Because I got a future. You know, he's gonna get caught. 
if he's doing anything wrong. I'm not sure he is. I think he's got $40 billion, so I don't know what his salary is. <laughs> That's a lot, though. <laughs> he hasn't been at it for 40 years, so it's got to be more than a billion dollars a year. That's okay. what they say, Mo. Yeah. But that could be the American propaganda. Yeah. And that brings to mind my, one of our new causes, mm-hmm. the switch in the news. Yeah, I love that. So all the Russian people, they get our news yeah. and our propaganda. American news. Yeah. yeah, American news. American and Canadian. Yeah, American's way worse. Yeah, whatever. BBC, too. Mm. They watch that, <laughs> and we watch the Russian mm-hmm. propaganda. Mm-hmm. So we both watch. It's called the propo something. I haven't got the name worked out. Switch. It's a propo switch. Mm-hmm. So if we each watch each other's propaganda, mm-hmm. we'll kind of get be able to get it together. The old switcheroo. Yeah, because we'll all get on a, the same. Like, oh, that's cool. what they're thinking. That's yeah. like when I we s- get into the same space. Yeah. Oh, look what yours is saying to you. Oh, look what mine's saying. I mean, these guys are fucked up. Let's just do deals ourselves. Yeah. How about that. Well, that's like <laughs> when I went down to America and everyone's freaking out about the guns and everything, and they're like, "Why do they even have the gun laws they have in America? That's retarded." And I went down to America and watched their news, and I was like, "If I was watching this all the time, I'd I would, I would want a gun." I know. I know. And you know, you might feel that way if you lived in a lot of the places too. I'm sure you would, as a matter of fact. Now listen to me. I'll tell you something else. Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what it is. It had to do with the propaganda thing. It was something really cool. Oh, for, forget it. I'm panicking now. Okay, it's time to relax. Never that heavy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, because if I could get a hold of the Russian people, this is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. I swear, I swear to God, Mom. If I could just have the Russian people in the room here right now, mm-hmm. and I'm representing the West... And I said, okay, you guys, here's the deal. We get rid of the nukes. We figure out another way to fight, Mm -hmm. like my, you know, hand-to-hand, no rules. Pick your best thousand toughest guys. Something really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fully televised because we want to watch it. No rules, uh, eye gouging, biting, all goes. Mm -hmm. right. So everybody gets gets satisfied because we can't quit biting. Mm -hmm. No, we can't. But we can get rid of wha- what we spend a third of our lives doing, working to give the bastards the money to buy the big fucking weapons that we're probably, if we do use them, we're all out of here. Yeah. Isn't that stupid? Yeah, it's really stupid. So I couldn't I talk to the Russian people mm-hmm. and say, what the hell? You know, we're working a third of our lives to pay for this. You don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Let's put something together. Yeah, but you'd put something together. And, and you'd, have, you'd have all your guys in the ring, and then some guy would pull out a gun <laughs> and just start shooting everyone. I know, but you'd have to be... <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to have a really good sheriff. You have to be... Everyone has to be naked. There's a way to do this, Ma. <laughs> if it can be conceived and believed, perceived, conceived. <laughs> and you roll up your shirt sleeves enough, Ma. Yeah. You know as well as I do, it can be achieved. Yeah. If you believe. <laughs> and proceed <laughs> to see and roll your shirt sleeves up. Now do it. Or watch the other tutorial. Yeah. All now right? let's sing the song. Right, shut up. Here we go with Brad Paisley. Yeah. What is it again? Well, I love <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't want to get into those concepts too much because I can't sing proper after. Mm. Will I love you? Well, I love to fish. Spend all day out on his lake. Hell is all I care. Hey, she met me at the door, said I would have to chew. If I hit that fishing hole today, she gonna be packing all the things. She, she gonna be gone by noon. And I'm gonna miss her when I get home. Right now I'm on this lake shore Sitting in the sun Sure it'll hit me When I walk through that door tonight Yeah, I'm gonna miss her Oh, looky there I gotta buy If I hurry, I could beg her to stay. 
the water's right, the wind's just perfect. There's no telling what I might catch today. became the hardest working man in show business. Yeah, did you? Take your what headphones you out. What do you sing? I don't know, Dad. I don't know what to sing. Oh, sing George Straighten It Out, then. Oh, you always make me sing George Straighten It Out. Well, that's because it's very <coughs> white. You're very white, Mom. I'll sing the Everly Brothers. They're pretty white. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very white. You know, they almost didn't make it, even though they had, um, um, that big guy, huge guy at the time. Eddie Cochran. No. <laughs> Van Halen. No. I figured I'd tell you Herpy. when I get back. He was the biggest guy at the time, for God's sake. He sang country music, but he sang middle of the road and he sang it for the white people. He was just. <laughs> Everly Brothers. Don and Phil. Don and Phil. Phil.
Mm. You could be sadder than you were, though. No, I, yeah, I wasn't very sad. You didn't seem to feel that sad about it. I didn't, no. no. You got to be really that. sad. Yeah. No, I just thought of something real heavy while you were singing that. So it was worth something anyways, because it jogged my mind. Do you think the reason that country singers wear a cowboy hat is because they're really doing some effeminate shit? You know, feeling their feelings and, you know, doing really artsy kind of stuff. Yeah. So if you keep the hat on, first of all, it sort of covers up. It gives you kind of a persona. Yeah. And the second thing is, there was a second thing, but I'm like Rick Perry there from Texas. I can't quite remember what it is. No, I know what it is. Just give me a minute. The second reason country singers wear cowboy hats. That's right. It's a macho thing. Yeah. Number, that was so, the first reason. Yeah, okay, I'm going to cry and everything else, but I got my cowboy hat on, so shut up. Come on, I always cry, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Is that good, Bob? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> or Well, that's what your song did to me, Mo. It stimulated my little... Or it could be because so many country singers were incredibly ugly, and they needed to cover it up. Well, I think that was like good for cowboys. But, you know, a third of cowboys were black. You know that, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's a little known fact. A little known fact. And probably another third were Indian guys. Mm-hmm. Right? So, you know, there wasn't too many. Now, third now what about Mexican. the Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> there was a couple of white guys. And then the fourth third. <laughs> a couple of white guys. But when they changed it to singing country music, it was all white guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you betcha, boy. You betcha. What's coming up now? Okay. Now we'll show you a little bit of sass. You got to suffer, Ma. Mm-hmm. You got to suffer some pain. I think that's why you got a lot of problems with the younger thing. Everybody had it too good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> so they don't feel like balling all the time. Nah. <laughs> okay. It's the buck one part of the show. We like to put buck in. This is not all I should. Yeah, well, yeah. I was just going to say, it's not all 1990s country music. 